my previous videos, I showed you how to fix a blank Uconnect screen by disconnecting your battery. Since doing that video, it has come to my attention that this may not work on vehicles with the start stop feature. <clears throat> the vehicles with the start stop system have a second battery that's kind of buried in the engine compartment. That's hard to access. Um, so that fix is not really practical um, to reset our Uconnect screens, but there is an alternative and I'm gonna show you that right now. <clears throat> so what we wanna do instead of disconnecting the battery, is to pull the fuse for the Uconnect system. Take power off it for a while, that will allow it to reset, put the fuse back in it, and uh, you should be good to go. Now, a good resource, we gotta start by identifying which fuse we have to pull, and the user guide here is a great place to identify that fuse. <clears throat> we can start in the table of contents here. Under maintaining your vehicle, I've got a heading fuses, page 263 so page 263 here starts a nice table of all of the different fuses and what we're looking for here is uconnect so almost the last one here uconnect dc sd telematics is f76 so now we got to get under the hood and find fuse f 76. Now that we're under the hood, we can find our fuse box, which is right here, uh, just to the right of the air box on the driver's side. There's some easy clips there that we just press in. On the inside of this cover is a list of all the, the different fuses. And we can see in here, we didn't even have to go to the user's guide. In here, F. 76 is listed as Uconnect. So now we have to come over to the schematic F76 right there. So let's go see if we can find this in our fuse block. Now this can be a bit like reading a map. Uh, I like to look for landmarks. What's shown on the panel here. Um, so there's C82, which is a larger device that's right next to it. So we got to get the lay of the land here. And it's actually oriented like this versus what's in here. So F76 is up here. And so that's this fuse, this 20 amp fuse, this uh, yellow one right here. So within here is a nice little tool it's a little tweezers type tool they give you there to grab the fuse so you just hook that on grab our fuse so the first thing you can do obviously is to check this to see if it's blown ours is still good so what I'm gonna do leave this out for two minutes uh, make sure that Uconnect system fully powers down and resets itself and put it back in. Okay, so our two minutes has elapsed. I'm going to put our Fuse F76 back in. Make sure that's seated. Put our little tool back in its place here. Pop our cover back on. Then we'll go try it out. So we're going to turn accessory on. See if our Uconnect screen here powers up. And it took a little bit longer on that as the system was reset than what it normally does. You can see it's going through its boot sequence and it's working. So I hope this helped you out. I hate to see people go to the dealer and spend a lot of money on a problem that is relatively simple to fix. If uh, this content helped you out at all, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, and if you're having troubles with something else, feel free to add that to the comments. I'll look into it and see if I can get a solution for you. Thanks for watching. Adios.